Newcastle face stiff competition from Atletico in battle for Serie A striker. Newcastle are reportedly interested in signing Hellas Verona striker Giovanni Simeon, who is also wanted by his father, Diego, at Atletico Madrid. Simeon has been in terrific form this season, scoring 15 goals in 25 Serie A matches. After going eight league games without a goal, the 26-year-old netted a hat-trick against Venezia last weekend. Simeon is technically on loan from Cagliari, but Hellas have the option to sign him permanently for €12 million, Euros, an option that is widely expected to be exercised. His fine form has put him in contention to be included in Argentina's squad for this year's World Cup in Qatar. Simeon's emergence as one of the best strikers in Europe has seen him be linked to some top teams, such as Atletico. Madrid are, of course, managed by his father, Diego, who has won two league titles, one Spanish Cup, two Europa Leagues and two UEFA Super Cups with the La Liga club. As well as Atletico, the richest club in the world, Newcastle, are interested in signing Simeon, according to Spanish newspaper Sport, via Football Italia. If the Spanish club's interest is genuine, it will likely be difficult for the Magpies to convince the player to choose them over playing for his father in the Spanish capital. The Geordies have been linked with numerous players since their Saudi-led takeover was completed last October. Villarreal winger Arnott Danjuma is one of the latest names thrown in the St. James Park transfer rumor mill. And former Premier League player Noel Whelan believes the Holland International would be a superb signing for Newcastle. Danjuma has made a name for himself in the Champions League and La Liga this term. He has been involved in 16 goals from his 23 outings. Whelan told Football Insider, Danjuma would be a superb signing. If they can stay up then they'll be looking for experienced players who have played at the highest level. Danjuma would be a great addition if he is part of those Newcastle's plans, I can see it happening as he's played under Howe before.